Welcome to the Reading and Northern Railroad's Wilkes-Barre Scranton Regional Railroad Station in Pittston, Pennsylvania. Our inaugural season in 2023 was a huge success, and now we're gearing up for an even bigger and better season in 2024. Starting April 6th, we will be running all-day excursions from here to Jim Thorpe and back on every weekend and select holidays. I'm here today to show you what you can expect on these popular trips. Now I highly recommend that you buy your tickets in advance as these trips usually sell out. When you arrive at our station, just show your invoice to one of our friendly ticket agents in this booth and they will print out your tickets. While you wait for your train, you can relax in the shade of this platform. And speaking of that train, I'm going to take you on a tour through our rail cars so you know what to expect once you get on board. Most of the cars we use on this trip are our Crown Class coaches. What that means is these are cars that feature comfortable seating, onboard restrooms, and most of them have air conditioning. And cars like these are perfect for all day excursions like this one. Last year, these cars were your only option on this train, but if you stick around till later in this video, I'm going to show you something new and exciting we've added for this year. Now, this train usually uses cars number 452 and 453. Those are the ones I'm going to be showing you today. Though it's always possible we'll have to substitute one or more of our other Crown Class cars. All of those cars have the same level of comfort, but one of the cool things about Crown Class is each one of these cars is unique. We'll start our tour with car number 452 Deer Lake. This heavyweight coach was built by Pullman in 1926 for Southern Railway, and it was acquired by Reading and Northern a few years ago from the Iowa Pacific bankruptcy. Now, I personally find the green colors of these seats in this car to be very relaxing. And you also have window shades that you can pull down should the light get a little bright, or if you want to rest your eyes for a bit. Now, you can see these seats are very comfortably padded and they feature fold-down armrests in the middle. Our next car, number 453 Pulpit Rock, is very similar to car number 452. It is also a heavyweight coach that was built by Pullman in 1926 for Southern Railway and was also part of Reading and Northern's acquisitions from the Iowa Pacific bankruptcy. Now I've got to say, this is my favorite of the Crown Class cars. I just love the rich red fabric on these seats. And like car number 452, they are comfortably padded and they feature the fold down armrests. And on this car, you can also open the windows. That is not true of all Crown Class cars. Now as a photographer and videographer, this feature is pretty important to me so that I can capture all kind of memories of this trip. We also have a dining car between our Crown Class cars and on most trips, we use our number 1166 North by Northwest. Now, we don't sell tickets to this car, but all passengers are welcome to visit it and ride in it at any time. 1166 is an 85-foot-long dining car built by the Bud Car Company in 1947 for the New York Central Railroad. Now, if you're looking for some refreshments, we do sell drinks like soda, water, and coffee, and we have snacks such as crackers, chips, candy, cookies, and muffins. We also have souvenirs such as t-shirts, playing cards, and magnets. Now, I do need to note that on our train, all sales are cash only, so you will need to hit the ATM prior to your ride. And be sure to check out this little cabinet around the corner because you can pick up all kinds of information on things to do in Jim Thorpe including the walking map, which I highly recommend, and also information on our other train trips. Now what you just saw was the consist that we ran most of last year, but as I promised earlier, this year we've added something new and special for you. We've added lounge car number seven. This car was a hit when we put it on our February theme trains, so we've decided to keep it on for the spring and summer trips this year. Reading and Northern acquired this luxurious car a few years ago from the Iowa Pacific bankruptcy. It was built by Pullman as a heavyweight coach in 1916 for the Illinois Central Railroad 
and remodeled in 1947 into the lounge observation car that it is today. We did repaint it and we changed its name from the Mardi Gras to King Cole before we put it into service. Its interior is similar to our car number eight, featuring comfortable armchair seating, end tables, restroom, and a snack bar. What makes this car extra special though is the rounded back end with the observation windows. You'll get a view out of the back of this car that is like nothing else in our fleet. Now if you want to ride in this car, it is a different ticket price than the Crown Class cars, so be sure to check online or with our ticket agents for current pricing. Now pulling all of these fine cars from Pittston to Jim Thorpe and back is one of the finest locomotives in our fleet. This is our anniversary diesel number 2023, which has led most of the Pittston to Jim Thorpe trains since it got repainted last August. This diesel is an EMD GP38-2 built in 1978 for Conrail. We usually use this one, though it's always possible we'll have to substitute one of our other four axle diesels as these are well suited for passenger service. Now that you've selected your car and your seat, sit back and relax as we traverse the northern half of our main line from Pittston to Jim Thorpe. This trip covers 56 and a half miles and takes about two and a half hours in each direction. You'll pass through the neighborhoods of Pittston, Durier, Avoca, DuPont, and Pittston Township before beginning the ascent up Penobscot Mountain. Part of the route features remote scenery, plenty of twists and turns, and several breathtaking vistas. station stops at our Penobscot Yard and Mountaintop and in the town of Whitehaven as long as there are passengers who purchase tickets to board there that day. If not, we'll just keep on moving. Just south of Whitehaven, we'll cross the Lehigh River for the first of four times as we begin the second half of our trip. You'll see the entirety of Lehigh Gorge State Park, which is beautiful any time of the year, but it's especially stunning during fall foliage season. Because of the high demand for tickets in the fall, we'll run longer trains with other classes of cars as well. Once we arrive in Jim Thorpe, you'll have about four hours to explore the town before the return trip to Pittston. If this is your first time in town, I highly recommend you stop by the visitor center in the train station so that you can get information on the variety of things you can do during your stay. Hope you enjoyed this look at our all-day Jim Thorpe to Pittston excursion trains, and we hope to see you on board one of them very soon.